what's up this is Wayne with Trey County Locksmith Service and this is a review of the HPC lever handle remover tool uh, basically this is a locksmith tool and it's designed to help with uh, lever locks like this uh, in the incident that you don't have a key now one way to get this apart is to be able to um, pick it and if you can pick it then you can pull it apart However, if it has uh, maybe just a very difficult lock to pick, uh, this is going to save a whole bunch of time. Um, or if it has, you know, something that can't be picked, uh, some kind of high security cylinder, uh, you're just going to have to look at a different way. If you don't have the key, then you're kind of SOL. But um, the basic way that this lock, that these lever locks work is if you have a working key, and only if you have a working key, do you take this with your little key here and it goes in here and then only when you have a working key and you turn it in the working position will the handle come off and allow you to rekey the lock basically now we can pull that out and go ahead and begin rekeying the cylinder um, and at this point we'd be able to shim pick it or or find some way to, to get access to that and rekey it uh, to whatever you want now, where this comes in handy is a lot of times buildings get repossessed, taken over, uh, things like that, where you're just going to have a situation where you're not going to be able to have access to the current working keys. So this is where this tool comes in. I'm going to put this back together. You're going to have to turn the lock in the working position, turn the key, and then it goes back on, and it goes back into its keeper. Now, try this again full length here. So that's how we pull it out of there. Now the cylinder can come out just like so. Now we'd be able to pull the cap off and rekey this lock. If we do not have the keys, however, these are a little stiff because they're brand new. Put this back on. Like so and we'll turn and we click. Now it's stuck back on there. Now the key's still working and the handle will not come off in either direction. Basically that's moving the actuator in there. If we don't have the keys and that's not an option anymore, you cannot simply just poke this thing in there and pull it apart. That's what this tool is for. This is going to go right there. This is going to go here. the other side because it's a little bit skinnier. U bar goes on the back. Great, great tool from HPC. I love this tool. I use it very, very often. It just the locks can be picked, but sometimes you know you, you may be picking on it for 10 minutes. Um, and, and However, you know, this right here is just going to take care of that right away. I mean, it's just going to move right through it. Wow. This the back here. And it's just going to give you a, a set amount of time to where you're just going to be able to pop this thing open in a couple of minutes here. This definitely will work while it's on a door in any kind of application where you've got the, the door set up. Uh, it's not going to get in the way. You're going to be able to use and operate this system on just about anything. Tighten that down. Make sure that's lined up with the keyhole. This is the detent depressor. This is going to go in here and basically take up the job of this, forcing, putting pressure down on there, forcing the tool open. Getting everything lined up is the hardest part of this. So we get that lined up.
Then this will then put pressure on the lock cylinder, pulling it apart as we put pressure on the detent. It's pretty much a force tool is what we've got going on here. It's all the way in there. Just like so. Until we do not need that anymore. And it just takes advantage of the small tolerances built into the lock and is able to then override them. And then that goes on there. Before this bends, we'll pull it back out. cylinder comes out, and we can now go ahead and pull this apart and reheat it. So, what it does is it pushes on this detent here, which is what is holding the lock cylinder in, and then puts the pressure on the cylinder and forces the handle over it. So, it is a great, great way, especially if you go to a building and you've got 20 levers and they've all been keyed differently. Um, and you just don't know what it is and it's a you know maybe they're really good high quality like sergeant locks that are just really nasty to pick and you don't want to spend all day picking locks this is a great tool to go ahead and override that so once we pull this off in here that all comes off great tool from HPC highly highly recommend it for any locksmith professional application and we'll go ahead and put the cylinder back in Insert the what would be the new key. Pop it back on there. Click. And just like that, good as new. Works just like it did before. Now when you have the proper key, you can insert that in there. And this thing pops off and it goes back on. And so definitely. system from HPC. Highly recommend. Uh, part number LHR100. For more information, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com or visit hpc.com and check out their product line. Thanks and have a great day.